Hi, this is part three of my electric supercharger project. So I proved that the eBay electric supercharger wouldn't work through some calculations. I then tried to improve on the design with this using two fan blades. That didn't work. That produced about half a PSI. I used a single stage design which produced three PSI. I then used a dual stage design which produced about five PSI. Um, the issue is flow. So even though I'm producing 5 PSI, when I connect this to an engine, realistically, I'm probably going to achieve maybe 1 or 2 PSI. So there's no real benefit, uh, probably like 5 or 10 horsepower, which you're probably not going to notice. So I increased the size of the impeller from 80 millimeter to 100, and this part from 44 to 50. So this should increase flow, and this should increase pressure. So here is a video of it working. So as you saw, I produced about 5 PSI, but it was a big failure. I printed the housing from the same material as the impellers, and instead of them wearing away, they melt together. Whereas in the previous designs, I printed the housings out of PTEG, and these out of polycarbonate. So one would just wear away. But I wanted to see what I could get out of it, and it failed. I mean, spinning something like this at 60,000 RPM is kind of a bad idea anyway. Uh, I made sure I was out of the way, um, but it still made a nice mess of my table, and I spent like half an hour picking up the pieces. So for this project, I think I'm going to give it a rest. Um, even if I did produce maybe 8 PSI, the issue is flow, and with a 4,000 watt motor, I'm probably only going to achieve maybe 2 or 3 PSI on an engine. Maybe a little more in a motorcycle. I'm considering there's $500 in this. For three units to achieve that of a turbo, it's going to cost $1,500 when I could get a pretty decent turbo set up for that. So the other way forward with this project, maybe, is to use a gearbox. So I'd make something like a planetary gearbox to step the motor from 50,000 to 150,000 RPM and then use a turbo snail but there's a huge amount of energy in that and I could spend another $300 making a gearbox so I think for now I'm going to leave it it was an interesting project anyway so thanks for watching check out my channel, subscribe, consider donating if you want to see more details on the project check my website in the description below thanks for watching and see you next time